What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you something from Dragonhawk. It's actually one of their more interesting pens that they put out. I've never seen anything like it. So, without further ado, check out the Dragonhawk X4. All right, so here we have that awesome box of the X4. Really nice logo on top with a very traditional Japanese art style and also American thread stuff. Pretty cool. Let's open it up. Greeted with two manuals that I think say the same thing. So I'll get into the statistics later or the stats of the machine, if you will. There it is. Look at that. That's actually a really nice looking machine. Let's pull it out. Let's first take a look at this battery charger thing. So it's a single battery charger. It has a built-in USB cable into it. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to like attach stuff. Yeah, there you go, charging battery. Now the charging time, by the way, of one battery, which is 900 milliamp years, I think it was around 30 to 40 minutes. So not the fastest charger, but you do have two batteries. So there you go, that's a pretty good pretty good fallback to having like low battery like nine, nine, 900 milliampere's right and also it charges a little bit faster than most chargers that have chargers like this all right let's put this stuff aside and then focus on the machine all right so here we have that x4 it's one of their more intuitive or not intuitive but innovative tattoo machines because it does have some new tech inside of it well first off it's a very nice small diameter machine it is 22 milli millimeters so it's a pretty small one it actually feels like a regular pen marker you know like a pencil pen yeah let's open up the grip that's one thing I'm a little disappointed in. I normally like when the grip makes a sound, you know, like that clicking sound. This one's a little bit more smooth. It feels like a pen. Yeah, you know, like an actual pen. But yeah, let's open it up. Really small grip, by the way, but it's nice, light. Nice, look at that. All right, let's turn it on. Long press or is it short? Okay, so long press to turn it on. Yo, turn on, man. There you go. You have a nice green display. Now I do know you can shove, cycle through this, I think, but it can also stay at 6.2 volts. There you go, oops. Single press to start it, double click to cycle how much battery is left. I don't know if it's gonna change. Yeah, there, it's cycling. All right, now it's most innovative part of the machine is coming up next. It is that gravity tilting to change the voltage. So if you tilt the machine going up like this or going to the left, right? It's supposed to decrease the voltage. And if you tilt it going this way to the right, it's supposed to increase. So let's try it out. Tilting this oh turned it off. Oh yeah, you have to you have to run it by the way to change the voltage. So let's turn it on again. Run it. It's pretty quiet, not a very loud machine, which is good. Vibration, you can feel it on your fingertips a bit, but not too strong. Pretty good. Alright, let's decrease the volume. Uh voltage. There you go. It's it's going loud. Now it's 4.0, which is its minimum. Now let's increase it by tilting it to the right. And there you go, it's going higher. It reaches all the way to 12 volts. I don't wanna run it at that. I don't like running my machines that high. So let's keep it at like 6.6 .6 or better. No, I can't do 6.9, too bad. Cause it only increases by 0.2 volts. Is that a deal breaker? No, it's not. 2.2 volts is still pretty accurate. Although I do prefer the 0.1 volt adjustment, but yeah, it's fine. 0.2 volts, all good. I really dig the aesthetic of the machine. It's fully black. You got that logo right there. And you've got that green display, which I don't know why they haven't been doing this more. 
because this green look at that green that, that green looks sick I look I like it that green color on a dragon hog pen which is supposed to be green just makes sense feels good I like this little metal grip thing that they have going on here it's like built in it's like a it's very rough so I guess it's for yeah got I guessed right you got to use this more like a pen so you don't really put your weight on the tip of this but you can actually grip it a little bit higher like this and it feels like you're working like a pen actually it's it's pretty cool yeah check that out so you're a little bit more free with your wrist motions and stuff like that you can grip higher I guess with a smaller millimeter grip you can do that plus you got this thing to keep it steady up there really cool all right let's see this pen in action All right, so the X4 is actually not just a little bit of a gimmick pen, although it is pretty interesting and it is, if you think about it, a little bit convenient to do because you don't have to press the buttons anymore. You just have to tilt the machine a bit. And yeah, it's a little party trick as well. Yeah, you know, like you can show your client this, hey, check this thing out. And I've done it to a few clients of mine and they've all been like, wow, what is that? They're very impressed by it. and. Performance wise, I like it. Appearance wise, it looks really sick. And it's got some features in it that I haven't seen in other Dragon Hawk machines, especially that grip with that really rough metal part on it. I actually really like it. It helps grip the machine a bit more, even though it's a smaller frame. You know what I mean? Like, it's a 22 diameter pen, so it's pretty damn small. That nice little grip that it has helps a lot. So, do I like this pen? Hell yeah, I like the X4. Do I want to see more innovative stuff coming out of Dragonhawk? Definitely, although, you know, they put out a lot of new good stuff every month. Actually, want to see them slow down a little bit with the releasing of machines to like really nail them all. But, hey man, if they're putting them out there, I'm going to be making them videos on it, all right? So, Look out for more. All right, if you like this, don't forget to hit that like, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Please, Hit that bell so that you're notified on what's coming next, and I'll see you all on the next video. Later.